is it? This is a friend. A friend? Whose friend? Your friend, of course. But I don't know who he's talking, please. Do you remember the three wise men? Yes. What, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Do you also remember you have an agreement with us? What else do you want? I give you a job to do, and you have finished the job. And I've finished paying you your charges. What else do you want? <laughs> that is a mistake. No one escapes completely from us. What do you mean? Hey, what do you mean? Meet us at the Uya venue, 7.30. No third party, no interference. Sit down. I'm not sitting down. I mean, why do you have to invite me here again? You have finished the job I gave you. And I've finished paying your charges. Business is closed between us. Uh, doing business with us is not as easy as you think. Hmm? Our deal with you is still as fresh and open. What do you mean by that? Do you have any other job with for us? No. You see? That's the problem. What is the problem? We are broke. <laughs> we need money. We need money. And we thought that you will get us a job to fetch us money. We are broke. Is that why you called me? We need 200,000 Naira from you very urgently. 200,000 Naira? Hey! Where do you want me to see that? Where do you want me to get that? Are you in your senses? Ah, and what's the money for? <coughs> Madam. It is not compulsory you pay. The money is for security maintenance. Security maintenance? What does that mean? Well, you can either choose to pay the money or not. It is mouth insurance money. You see, madam, we have been finding it rather difficult to keep our mouth shut after the last job we did for you, and we just feel that... Um, look, pay us that money, or we'll tell everybody your role in the bogu. Hmm? You are trying to blackmail me, isn't it? Call it whatever you want. Just know that if you don't pay us that money, we'll tell everybody that you told us to boggle that woman's shop. You wouldn't do such a thing. I trust you. take us lightly. If you want to play ball, meet us here same time tomorrow with the money. And um, make it 500 naira notes.
الو الو كاني كاني مومي سيد يو كيم هير وات هاف يو كوم هير تو دو ام تو باك اوف يا ستيلا وي نيد تو ديسكاس ذيس ثينغ اوفر وي نيد تو توك You see, I'm closer to you than you think I am. I'm somewhere around here talking to you. No. There is nothing for us to talk over again. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> But I think you need to help me so that I can help you. Forget it. Why? <laughs> Now, you see, my wife is your friend. I too can become a friend of your things. I already met him. I know his office and I know his home address. I can get in touch with him and uh, you understand? So it's a 50-50 thing. Where are you? I'm outside your house under a shade. Just directly opposite your house. Just come out, take a walk, you'll see me. Under the shade outside the house. Good. Okay. You've adopted a fast way of pulling off your cloak of guilt, isn't it? She wants to resolve into blackmail, isn't it? <laughs> I need to protect my new home. I need to protect my marriage. I don't want anything bad to affect the heart of my wife. I love her. So you love your wife. You love a peaceful home. I never knew you could so much protect the interest of your wife. Why didn't you do seek to destroy my own life? But that was then. That was when the devil was still reigning in my life. I left Lagos for Portacot as a vibrant born again Christian. I backslid in the midst of wrong friends. But I've since retraced my steps back to the Lord. I've asked him to forgive me and I've repented of all my sins and he has forgiven me for God's sake. Is that why you've not become a church deacon? After going to so many ladies and wrecking my own life in Portacot. So, you've come to Lagos to start a new life. Huh, Kenny? But Stella, that was exactly the same thing you did. You painted the old streets of Portacot red with your flagrant prostitution. And now you come back to Lagos to start a new life. Huh? Listen to me. Let our past die in natural death. Okay? All right. It's a deal. Good. One more thing. What? That confession paper. I need to destroy it now. All right. Wait for me. I hope you are not trying to play a fast number on this. What does that mean? Like having photocopies of these with you. I'm not that bad. Good. So, let our past die a natural death. You keep quiet. I keep quiet and everybody go his own way. Fine. And Stella, my wife will still want you to be coming to our house. Thanks for your cooperation. God bless you.
Thank you. Good evening. Well done, sir. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks for calling me. Yeah, Elder, I appreciate it. Thank you. God bless. Yeah, God bless. God. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. How is everything going, sir? Oh, well, we thank God for your moral and spiritual support. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Mm. Praise God. I'm very sorry, sir. I, we could not see last Sunday after the service. Uh, and I noticed that you wanted to see me. Uh, you see, I was meeting with the new convert. Then I went into a committee meeting thereafter. I'm very sorry, sir. I saw everything. I saw everything. I, I saw everything. I know that Sunday is one of your busiest days. So that was why I decided to leave, knowing that I will still see you. Um, sir, we're praying for you and your family. We are trusting God to settle everything concerning you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, how is mommy? Oh, <laughs> she's fine. Okay. She's fine. She's fine. Um, <clears throat> the Lord has brought us together closer now. And the devil tried to strike last week. Yeah. Yeah. We heard about our shop that was broken. Yes. yes. Oh. Oh. Sorry. We knew the devil wanted to use that occasion to cause some problems in between us. She was so depressed. But I rose up with the challenge and we filled the whole shop again. again. Oh. Praise God. Oh, thank God for that. Praise God. That is very good. Yes, yes. Thank Engineer. God. In fact, I want you to do everything within your power to make sure that you sustain the healing that the Lord has done to your relationship. Yes. Oh. First of all, I am under intense fire from my wife here in the house. Engineer, you must be patient with her. You must be very patient with her. All these mistakes happened when you were in the darkness of the world. Yes. You had not known salvation then. Yes. Huh? And don't forget, she's your wife too. Yes. And she has given you two children. Yes. Two good children. But Pastor, I always tell her that this woman is my first wife. She has suffered with me. And so I kept on telling her that she needs to respect her and honor her grown-up children. Engineer, you must be patient with her. You must be patient with her. Remember, it is the spirit of the Lord that transforms a person. Huh? You must continue to pray for her until the light of God shines on her life. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir, how is your daughter too? Oh, Stella? Yes. She's gradually settling down since she came back from Port Harcourt. Okay. She's gradually getting established in a construction company. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> She's getting married very soon. Ah. That's beautiful. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. That's really yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank Praise God. God. That's Thank very God. good. That's fine. No. Thank God. That's very fine. Yes, yes. Tell me why. He 
Sit down. I do hope you did not do any foolish thing like attempting to inform the police. No. So, where is the deal? Actually, I want to say that asking an extra money for me after the job is not part of the deal. I, I gave you your charges and in addition, you pack all the materials in the shop. And just later you phoned, telling me you are broke and that you needed money. All these are not part of the deal. I'm sorry, but I'm not happy. Madam, where is the money? Are you sure this is 200,000 naira? I try all I could. I, I, I brought in all I have in my account. And with what I could get in my shop. But I was able to raise 160,000 naira. I can't, I can't go beyond this. I tried. Do you know who has this mobile number? O eight oh three three nine seven eight five three one. That's my husband's direct number. How, how did you get it? How about this? O eight oh two three two five seven nine. I don't know. I don't know the person. That is your husband's daughter's number. Stella's number? This is to show you how easy it is to get in touch with your husband and to tell him how you arranged for his wife's shop to be boggled. But what is going on? Hey? Didn't I try? But you can't do this to me. Madam, you have wasted our time. Our intention is to be out of the city 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. But now, you have disrupted our plans. I'm sorry. Please. Please. Meet us same time tomorrow in front of Seiko nightclub with 100,000 naira. 100,000 naira? <laughs> you people are heartless. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry, I, I will try. I will try. Same time, same venue with the money. Tell me why. If you know why, there's a secret reason. Ah, you're <laughs> welcome. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, this is Stella. Hey, yeah. 
the lady I've told you so much about. You're welcome, darling. <laughs> yes, Ma. Richard has told me a lot about you. Thank you very much, Ma. Come and have your seat. Thank you, Ma. How is your family? They're all doing fine. Richard has told me a lot about you. <laughs> he says so many things about you. She looks so lovely. Oh, thank you, thank Mommy. You, Ma. I've You're never welcome. told you half. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> Lady, you're welcome, sir. Boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. What kept you away so long? Oh, we're so sorry. I had to go and pick her in our office. It's all right, it's all right. Yes, sir. Thank you, Dad. Sit down. So, this is the beautiful angel that has been giving my son sleepless nights. <laughs> How are you? Hi, sir. Actually, it's um, Richard's mother and I that said we should arrange for this meeting so that we can we can meet you, you know, formally if you like. Now, I understand you are the daughter of Engineer Dolapo. Yes, sir. Now, tell me, is it the same Engineer Dolapo of uh, Roland Engineering Consortium? Yes, sir. You don't mean it. You don't say. <laughs> the same engineer, Olapo? You, you have his number there? Yes. Come on, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Okay, 080. Hold on, yes? 080. Yes. 3397. Yes. 8531. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello? 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 on the line, please. Uh, why don't you take a guess? <laughs> please, who is, who is speaking, please? I say take a guess. Who else? Justice Olakwe. Ah. Which Justice Olakwe? Or by court? Ah. There's only one Justice Olakwe in this country, you know. The same Justice Olakwe of the High Court of Justice, Okionoiba. Ah. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> my engineer. <laughs> I was in Abeokuta three weeks ago during the Western Regional Convention of the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship. I tried to locate your house, mm. but I couldn't. How did you get my number? Yeah, but that's that's the work of God, you know. You know, it's uh, it's our children. <laughs> our children? Yes. You know, when my son told me he got an appointment in Lagos, I didn't know that the company he works for is your company. Until a few days ago. Who? Uh, who else? Your accountant, of course. Ah, uh, that boy? Richard? Yes, that's my first son. <laughs> is he your son? Yes. I can't believe this. Uh, okay, okay. But, but you will believe this, I'm sure. You will believe this. Just hold on a minute. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Stella, wh what? Yes, we came to greet Richard's parents. Ah. Daughter, I can't believe this. That man, Richard's father, was my former best friend. Let me speak with him. Okay, Dad. Yeah. Hello, engineer. <laughs> I, I, I told you. <laughs> you see now. You know, I mean, it's, 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 it's wonderful. I mean, we started as very close friends. And guess what? We are moving a step further. We are now becoming one family, in-laws. <laughs> 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 my, my, hold on a minute. My wife wants to say hello to you. So just hold on. Hello, sir. I'm on my knees, oh. Ah. <laughs> Reserve your kneeling and your prostration till the real actual day. Thank you, sir. You know, our children have made fine and beautiful choices. We thank God. Destiny has brought us together. Thank God. Okay, sir. Right. Bye. Thank you. So, engineer, you don't let me one of my basha. The whole justice alike. I will come and prostrate. Anyway, we'll talk about that one. <laughs> Lord, I 
every day again. I pray once again, Lord. I ask that you forgive all my sinful acts. During those moments I spent in Port Harcourt, Lord, I regret all those moments of gyration. I'm sorry for all those moments of frolicking around with girls of easy venture on the campus. I regret the moment I spent with those girls, including Stella. I'm sorry, Lord. Honey! I've got granny, it's good. I've got granny. What is it? Just coming from the clinic and it has been confirmed. It has been two months. Yes, it has been confirmed. Two months? Yeah! Two months? Yeah! Oh, praise God. The doctor said I should come back tomorrow for blood tests and some other tests so that I can get registered permanently at the oh clinic. Oh my God! Uh, the Lord is good! All the time. Praise God! Hallelujah. Praise God! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Lord is All good. All the time. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> This is the report of your blood test. Thanks, doctor. Bitch, I'm afraid, madam. We have a problem in this report. What's that, doctor? This is the paper. Please have a look. I don't understand what is written here, doctor. Please tell me. Madam, it is a bad news. You are HIV positive. Child of God, right from college all through my university, I never messed up myself. I never spoiled myself. I never. I kept myself till I was married. Come for medical checkup too. Oh. oh, but my husband is a child of God. He's a deacon in the church. Oh, oh my God. Oh. What's going on with me? Please make sure you bring your husband for medical checkup too.
Nothing. Lady, what's going on? Nothing. Lady, talk to me. What is happening? Nothing. This is not your usual countenance, lady. No. Lady, you told me you were going to the clinic today. Don't tell me something had gone wrong with the baby. No, no. Nothing happened to the pregnancy. So, talk to me, lady. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Lady. <laughs> lady, please. Talk to me. <laughs> My dear. Please. You know I love you. You can't do this to me. Tell me what is going on. Sit up. My dear. What is wrong with you? Why that flimsy accusation? Why are you accusing me that I've gone to tell her about you? When I've not seen her for quite some time. I came home from the office now. I've met her crying. She's psychologically and emotionally down. She's not talking to me. I don't know why. She has refused to talk to you. How then did you arrive at that conclusion? They have gone to tell her something about you. You're driving me crazy, man. Aha, uh -huh. Stella, you want to revenge on me and, and break my home? Good. I will make sure your wedding doesn't hold. You can't wed, Stella. You can't wed. My home has begun to burn, and you want to work out on me? Huh? But, Kenny, I didn't talk to her. I haven't seen her for quite some time. I bluntly refused to call her. I didn't tell her anything. Well, she's emotionally down. She's been crying. She's been sad. And she's not been talking to me. What do you want me to do? Good. I want you to come and talk to her. She's your friend, and you're probably the only person she will confide in. So please, come and talk to her. 
Now? Right now. Okay, wait here. Let me tell my mom that I'm going out. All right. When joy and laughter suddenly turn to sorrow. When a sweet, sweet love suddenly turn to Lady, I've brought your friend. Who? Stella. Why? Because I felt you probably would not open up to any other person apart from a female friend. Lady, please. Please, open up to Stella. Say something, please. Where is she? Downstairs in the living room. <laughs> Tell her to come with me. Into this room? Your report. You can go now. I want to say something, sir. Uh, open the paper. What does the report say? The report is clear. I don't understand. What did the doctor say? Oni, talk to me. What did the report say? Where is the paper? 